what's up everybody welcome to the show under book so i have a very important topic to discuss with you guys and this is about the brutality and the physical abuse against black women that most people don't touch on especially black men we're gonna keep it real but i'm a sister i'm gonna talk about it okay so kiki palm is alleging that darius jackson the father of her son has been beating on her okay and she has proof allegedly that he's been beating on her and allegedly that's him in the photograph i can assert the pictures on the screen here beating on her striking her down taking her phone throwing her over the couch and all that darius jackson is bigger and taller and stronger than kiki palmer okay so a man must know his strength any man that strikes down a woman beats on a woman he's a weakling he's a coward and that's not a man that's a demon Let's get that correct, okay? Kiki Palmer went ahead and got a restraining order, also was granted sole custody of their son. Who I really feel for is the son, is the baby, because that baby didn't ask to be here. This whole beef between Kiki and Dara started when she took her ass to the Usher concert, and Usher was all up in her face. She was all up in Usher's face, okay? She had on this crazy revealing dress, two butt cheeks out with a thong rise up in between it, okay? Darius Jackson called her out. I didn't like how he did it. So I was inside with neither one of them. I didn't side with Darius. I didn't side with Kiki. And I damn sure didn't side with Usher, okay? I didn't think anyone was innocent, okay? So after that situation, then the physical abuse allegations came after that, okay? Now, I don't know if Darius Jackson was beating on her allegedly after the whole Usher situation or prior to the whole Usher situation. Maybe jealousy took a hold of him so much so he's got abusive. We don't know. Allegedly, he's beating on her. We got to keep saying allegedly, okay? So I don't know. But, but a lot of people are blaming Kiki Palmer for the whole situation, saying that she started it by going to the concert, wearing that dress, and she upset it, Darius. But my thing is, regards of what Kiki Palmer did, she just showed to us a concert literally naked, no clothes on at all. But that still wouldn't give Darius Jackson a right to beat on her and to hit her. Some men think that because a woman error, a woman make a mistake, or a woman intentionally does something that's wrong, that gives him the right, the license, the warrant to beat on her. At the end of the day, he was still a dude. And if you can't control your emotions, if you can't control your temper and your anger, sir, then you're not qualified to be in a relationship. You're not qualified to be with a woman. You're not qualified to be a father because your emotions, your spirit, that have to be intact. If you cannot control yourself, what are you doing with a woman? What are you doing with a woman? And what are you doing with a woman who don't value you or don't even honor you? Why would you want to be with a woman who don't honor you? Because if Kiki Palmer honored Darren Jackson, you think she would be up in another man's face like she did with Usher? You think if she really valued Darius Jackson and respected this man, at least respect this man, you think she'd be another man's face the way she was with Usher? I don't care if it was Usher. I don't care if it was the valet dude. I don't care if it was the parking valet dude. Okay? A man is a man. Okay? And at the very end of the day, if a woman respects a man regardless of his financial status or his social status, if she respects him, she's not going to, she's not going to do what Kiki Palmer did. Trust me. She's not going to do what Kiki Palmer did. It's one thing if women coming outside want to show up what they got. They think it's innocent, think it's cute. But it's another where you up in another man's face, touching on him and having touch on you. That's a whole different level. And I don't agree on neither one, but it's a different level where you in another man's face and he's up in your face and you both are allowing that situation. That's not correct. Something is wrong. There's nothing special or different about any of these women, okay? You guys go after the same type of women, okay? Kiki Palmer never expressed herself to be some spiritual, righteous, you know, all for the most high, modest type of woman. That woman was like somewhat, what they would say, liberated, you know, free-spirited, okay? I want to have fun. I want to live my life. That's the kind of attitude and vibe that Kiki Palmer gave off. So I don't want to hear nothing about you mad about she going outside with no Usher concert because you knew exactly what type of woman you was getting yourself into. I don't and talk about honoring a man. Kiki Palmer is a breadwinner. Kiki Palmer is the face, the brand, and the name. What did Darius Jackson have? Who is he? What does he do for a living? Okay. We could do a quick Google search, but he is no Kiki Palmer. He probably is not on her level. Probably would never match up to her level. Okay. I'm just saying. But my thing is this. He's a light-skinned dude with pretty hair. Good hair. Okay. Good hair. You don't think Kiki Palmer peeped that? It was like, okay, he fine in her eyes. Oh, he fine. He light-skinned with pretty hair. Oh, I could have me a light-skinned, pretty hair baby. This dude ain't got much to give me. I mean, I'm the face. I'm the brand. I'm the name. I'm it. I'm that chick. 
who's he? Nothing really. Just something nice to look at, to have fun with in the bedroom. You don't think a lot of women think like that? There's women who think like that. They will go with a meaningless man that cannot provide, that cannot elevate them, that cannot motivate them, that cannot celebrate them, cannot uplift them, can't do anything, can't provide for them. But because they have a look, because they have a preference, they have a certain look about them, a certain style or a swag, they settle for those type of dudes. And then look what happens. They get beat on. They get abused, they get cheated on, they get violated. A lot of women go through the same thing because they don't set their standards. You cannot be a Kiki Palmer or just be a woman, period. You don't have to be no Kiki Palmer, but you have to have standards as a woman. Men got to have standards too. Stop lowering your standards. If you lower your standards, that means you have low self-esteem. If your standards are low when it comes to dating, you have low self-esteem. I don't want to hear about you're a boss chick, you're a boss dude, you this, you that. I don't want to hear nothing. If you do not set the standards high and also try to match or is matching that same standards you have for that other person you desire to be with, then you have low self-esteem, period. And whatever comes with whoever you choose that is low value and that's of low value, okay, then you get what you get. You get what you get, period. Now, I'm not saying I'm happy that Kiki Palmer is being physically abused, allegedly. I'm not happy. I'm not saying good for her, good for her, good for her. But there are consequences. There's consequences of every action, okay? And we have to be cautious as women. We have to stop making the same mistakes. We have to look deeper into these men, ladies. Stop getting with men that have looks and that are pretty to look at. And they have swag. They can dress. Forget about all that insignificant garbage. That stuff is so superficial. What about his heart, his spirit, his soul, his character? What about those things, his vision, his dreams his passion what about those things what motivates him what are those things lady why are you not asking him those things how does he feel about women will he be a good father how does he treat women is he good with his mother you guys have to ask these freaking questions you guys are very average when it comes down to dating very average i'm not saying that you have to go with some hideous Chewbacca, you know, looking dude, okay. I'm not saying you have to have the beauty and the beast type of situation, okay? Looks is important. I get that. But is it only important? Is that the only thing you should focus on? You know, you got to get down to the root, to the deepness of a man, okay? Get down to the core of the man. Men, same thing. Get down to the core of the woman. But too many people are filled with lust, sexual desire, a craving for fun, Okay, a craving to just have a good time and they don't have a craving, a hunger to really sincerely know a person and love them truly and understand them. How are we going to have successful relationships and we're not going into relationships the right way? We're not entering them the right friggin' way. How are we going to succeed? Then we're going to keep having the same issues over and over and over again. Another thing I want to touch on that women should be protected by brothers. Women are supposed to have an army behind them. Okay, women are delicate. Women are supposed to be delicate and precious. Why do you think men go crazy when anything happens to their baby girl? They're ready to fight and kill somebody. Why do you think men have that? I believe it's a spiritual thing. When it comes to their sons, oh, that's my son. Okay, that's my boy. That's my son. That's my boy. But his daughter, they're ready to snap someone's neck for their daughter. So why not treat someone else's daughter the same way? So another dude may be like, well, you're not my sister or my daughter, but you're somebody's sister, you're somebody's daughter, and I'm going to have your back, okay? If women had an army around them, you think another dude would step in and abuse her like that? If men knew that women had an army behind them, okay, you think that men would be comfortable beating on women like that, especially black women? If black men stuck together and was like, we're not going to have no one come into our communities and touch our women, <laughs> and we're not going to have men from our own community be in touch on our women, we coming for you. We got your number and we coming for you. If black men had this type of brotherhood and protection for the sisters, you think they would be raped, abused, violated, disrespected the way they are? No, they will not be. There's no unity there's no brotherhood, there's no sisterhood. And that's why the abuse on both parts happen. On both parts happen, because again, men get abused too, but we don't hear it as much, but it is happening. And it is, there are cases like that.
Okay, so we need to work together as a team. We have to be a community here. Stop being selfish and thinking that, oh, that's not my daughter. That's not my child. That's not my friend. That's not my business. It is your business. If we continue to move as individuals, we will never have unity. We will never have true love. We will never have protection in our community. We will never have that because we're all selfish and it's not right. It is not right. It's not right. So again, women, you've got to be cautious of these men out here. And dudes, you've got to be cautious of these women out here too. You've got to discern the friggin' spirits. You have to try the friggin' spirits. Try the hearts of men. Try the hearts of women. We're not doing that. We're not doing it. We're doing things our way and our way has not been working. Our way has not been working. We're not being taught from young about each other and how to deal with one okay. another. And so when we're going to rise up and make a difference and make a change, when? When we're going to make a difference for our youth, for our babies, for our future kings and queens? When are we going to make a difference? When are we going to make a difference? Again, this is a really sad case, and I feel like brothers should talk about this more and stand up for the sisters because whenever you black men get into situations, who the first one on the line? Fighting for you, protesting for you. It'd be the sisters, man. But when the sisters go down, we're the brothers, man. We're the brothers. That like we on our own. Our sisters are dating white men or all the other men, and I know why. Because you guys are doing it. You guys are leaving the sisters and going to the other Gentiles, going to the other women, white women, Hispanic women, Asian women, all these other type of women that look nothing like your women, and making babies and, and relations and marriages with these folks. Well, you shouldn't even be with them folks. You should be with your own sisters. So when they go out with other men, you call them bed witches and all that, but then you started that. Black men have been dating outside their race and been seeking a date outside their race for way back, predating slavery. You guys been doing that. Been doing that. The Bible backs it up. Samson is a great example of that. Come on now. You know, so we need to start moving as a community. Start protecting and loving one another where these type of situations would not happen. Make it to where a sister will be too afraid to hurt a brother and disrespect him and make it to the point, make it to the point where a brother will be too damn scared and afraid to hurt and strike down and even kill a sister. You got black men on a rise killing black women. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. One sister said she was on this dating app. BLK. I ain't going on that site. Neither should you. But she met this guy online, another black man. <laughs> and she was texting this guy for five days, not even calling him on the phone. That's another thing. What's up with this texting crap? If you want to get to know someone while dating them, you got to pick up the phone. You got to call. Because you don't know the demon is on the other end that's texting you, that's keyboarding you. You don't know. So why not pick up the phone and call them? You can't feel someone through a text. You can only have intimate conversations and really feel them and get their vibe, pick up their energy over the phone and then later on in person. But she talked to this guy for five days, viva text messages, invited the fool to her house. She a fool too. Cooked for the man, was having sex with the man, and the man turned on her. Slit her throat, but she survived. <sighs> Ladies, we got to do better. Brothers, we got to do better. Come on now. Judgment is on the rise, okay? And if we don't get it together, more judgment, more killings, more abuse is going to continue if we don't get ourselves together. So it's not just Kiki Palmer that's alleging abuse. So many women have been abused by the hands of their men. I'm sure most of us could be a witness to that or know someone personally that's been a victim of physical abuse by the hands of their own man, okay? Or by a man. So anyway, leave a comment anyway. down below. Express yourself in the comment section if you care to, okay? Leave a thumbs up, okay? Like, like, like. And I'll be back with some more commentary. Most how will, okay? Peace.